Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. and in this video I'm going to be showing you where to get and how to download and how to use my Daisy Update 1.23 Livonia Boosted Loot Server Files for your PC, PlayStation and Xbox community servers and of course we'll be looking at Nitrado as kind of an example. So if you already know what you're doing with these files, if you just look in the description below this video you'll see a link to my GitHub repository and my mega repository and they will both include the files that you see here and so what you can do is you just click code and you just click download zip extract them and you will know what to do now remember these will not work until your um, server has been updated to daisy update 1.23 so what you'll be looking at in your server is you want to make sure and this is using a nitrado server example that the version is v 1.23 don't put them up before then because they won't work because there's stuff in them there's the new m14 dmr there's new hats there's new gloves there's some new in anniversary stuff as well which i won't talk about here i'll leave it as a surprise so these boosted loot files what do they do so let's have a look at that first let's talk about what you get with them well you get things like the bonfires are all we're always there on the map i just i like the bonfires they're pretty cool you'll get these trucks so when vehicles spawn in whether they be trucks or um the cars they'll spawn in complete with stuff in the back so the trucks for example spawn in with a load of building supplies all you need to do is grab the jerry can out of the back which will have fuel in pour that fuel into the truck and in the case of the truck you can then just use it because it doesn't have a radiator in the case of any vehicles that have radiators which i guess is the cars you'll need to then go and find a water source fill up with water and put it into the radiator and then then you're off so you've got all this stuff to make a base which is very nice so here's an example of a car now the cars spawn in with all sorts of different things in the boot depending on which vehicle it is some are hunting some are for fishing some of them are for farming um they've all got weapons in the back though as well so that's good um and also when you find weapons they'll have things like they'll have most of the attachments already on them and they'll probably have a suppressor on them they'll probably have a scope on them and the magazine will be full of bullets and also when you find magazines they should be full of bullets as well um, and most of the things will spawn in pristine as well so it's kind of an easier experience for your players on your server in this case a Livonia server so to go into it a little bit more detail when you download the files off my github or off my mega please read the readme because it tells you exactly what you meant to do but it also goes into a little bit more detail specifically as well in the files if you're familiar with editing the events that xml files you can you can turn on an event for truck covered orange and truck covered blue and one of them has a load of weapons in and one of them has a load of halloween stuff in so you can have a play around with that as well and it also details in so for example the rusty ada has the m4a1 in the rusty olga has the vss the rusty gunter gunter the asphalt the rusty sarka the dragonov um more helicopter crash sites the um, there's more of the dynamic weapons, um, so like the FAL and the SFAL and the VSD, etc. And they so that you'll have more of a chance of finding one at a helicopter crash site. And the stuff that's normally at helicopter crash sites, like ghillie suits, you'll find at military areas as well. More NBC stuff, more 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 of and everything to make kind of your Daisy experience a little bit easier. Now. I haven't included a file to change the loadout spawn so you may want to do that as well if you wanted to um, in fact what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below this video to my video on how to do how to um, put a vanilla plus loadout onto your server which means that players will spawn in with a few more bits like a compass and a knife and things like that now with update 1.23 it's advisable you don't have to do it but it's advisable advisable it's easy for me to say to do a soft wipe on your server and i'll put a link to my video on how to do this in the description below this video because there's some significant changes to the buildings at the northwest airfield which means that when we have the update where the buildings disappear you'll then be left with things floating in midair so if you do a soft wipe that will get rid of all of the items all of the loot on the server unfortunately all of the bases as well 
but the players' characters, they will keep what is on in their hands and in their inventory. So that might be worth doing. So I, I would do that first. Now, the next thing you'll want to do is you want to make sure you go to your server and make sure it's running version 1.23. And then you'll want to stop it. And then you'll want to go into the general settings. And you'll want to scroll down. And you'll want to get to reset mission XML to default. Just remember that when we do this, if you've got any edited XMLs or JSONs, they will be gone. So you tick that, you save, and you restart your server. And this will mean that your server will then have 1.23 vanilla default files on it. And it's important we have that to start off with. And then you untick that, and you save that, and you restart your server. Then, this is where you then need my file. So you go to the file here, you go download zip, you download it to your local computer, and you'll be left with something like this. So the files you're interested in are types, messages, globals, events, CFG spawnable types, and CFG, <coughs> excuse me, gameplay.json. Then all you need to do, it's very, very easy to install. You just go to your file browser and you go to your DS Daisy PS missions. So it's PS missions if it's PlayStation, if it's Xbox, it'll be XB missions, if it's a PC, it'll just say missions. And they'll go into the Enoch directory. Enoch is the code name for Livonia. And then in the root directory here, this is where we go down to the bottom. We say upload file and we go to where we've downloaded these files. Uh, oop, wrong one. One L. There we go. And into this folder, we'll want to add the CFG gameplay and the CFG spawnable types. And we would say open. And this would upload these over the top of the existing files. And then all you need to do is you just need to go into your DB directory here. And you just scroll down. Hit upload. Go to where um, you've got the files. They're probably in your downloads folder on your computer, and you upload the events, globals, messages, and types. You don't need the README, and you click open. That would upload those over the top of the existing files, and then click restart, and the server would restart, and you'd have those uh, items there. Please bear in mind that if the server has already been running for a while, especially with people on it while it's just got the vanilla files in, some normal damage stuff will have spawned in as well. There's nothing we can do about that. But what will happen is that as time passes and as people are on your server, the loot will start to cycle through and the newer pristine stuff, the guns with the with the scopes and the mags and the silencers will start to spawn in, the vehicles that are complete will start to spawn in, etc, etc. And you'll have a nice learning experience for people who are new to Daisy or perhaps want a slightly easier Daisy, maybe who don't have enough time to spend hours grinding away finding all the little bits and you can run around and you can have an adventure and you can enjoy and learn the mechanics so there we go my daisy boosted loot livonia files hopefully find them useful um i don't make any guarantees that there's no errors <laughs> but there probably are so if there are let me know in the comment section below this video um if you found this useful hit like once you the same to subscribe and we'll of course see you again soon